A customer sent us a Savage action that he wants a shouldered 270 Winchester short mag barrel installed on it. All right, you can see this action's pretty goobered up here. They even ground on it. I don't know, they must have really had a hard time getting it off. But I'm not going to do anything to the action to blend this out. He says he's going to send it off to a person to have it Cerakoted. But I'm just going to install the barrel and do the receiver work. But I got tapered bushings that match the bolt raceway. You can see here it's 700 to 705 taper. And this one's the same. These tapered bushings will fit inside the action and follow the bore. Like make sure we're set in there. There we are. See how it's there it is. Comes out and it lines up with the bore raceway. And then I got <clears throat> a bolt raceway reamer for doing Remington 700s that we're going to use and that's going to be our mandrel. Okay. We're not going to cut nothing with this thing. We're going to use this thing as a mandrel to take our indications from it. Once I put it in a true bore alignment system chuck, I can move it up, down, in, out, and I can adjust the angle of the action so we're run perfectly parallel and in concentricity with the bore. To ensure I don't scratch the action, I have a piece of paper that I use and I put it in this aluminum collar like so and then that aluminum collar and the paper slides over and we hold it in the machine without scratching so let's go get her in the machine all right we got everything dialed in here no movement you can see if I adjust this it's definitely touching we can go in and out they got less than a tenth of run out across the whole thing so now all we got to do is take this mandrel out of here and make our cut and then the receiver face is uh, trued up to the bore again. All right, we don't need to take off much here, just a little skim pass to get everything squared back up. So you can see right in here, um, we're taking stuff off the top and not out the bottom. So this part of the machine receiver is cut deeper than the top. But once we're done, everything will be 100% cleaned up and will be square to the bore. All said and done, I took off three and a half thousandths of an inch, and we got everything cleaned up. So now we'll be able to uh, put our barrel shoulder against that receiver, and everything will be true to the bore of the rifle. Let's do our bore inspection. All the way in. She's looking good. Still looking good. Okay. Back it out 180 degrees. No galling, no pits, no bad spots in the lands. All right, let's get her in the lathe. Other videos I cut tapered sleeves that match the contour of the barrel perfectly and I wrap them with paper to hold them solid and prevent any scratches from happening to the barrel. Next thing we're going to do is clean up that little burr and indicate our chamber. Alright, we got everything dialed in. All that bouncing you see is the lands. We can go in and out, we still fall on zero. Life is good. All right, got my tenon cut. Got a mark for my relief. Get on there. Nice tight fit. So now we're gonna cut a relief for the threads to start. Then we're gonna start threading away from the chuck. And then uh, do our chamber. Savages are 20 threads per inch. Okay, our thread pitch matches perfectly. Let's cut the threads. So we got this all screwed up to our shoulder. In and out with the bolt. 
no rubbing, no binding. Life is good. Next thing we're going to do is cut our chamber. What makes me a big fan of this collared system, even after all the cutting and machine work, we're still bouncing on zero. All right, I got the reamer holder indicated to the bore of the machine. This is a floating reamer holder, so if there's any run out whatsoever, this takes care of it. Um, I had to swap out this pilot here for one that was a little larger to match the bore. With these pilots set up that match the bore, <clears throat> this can this guarantees reamer is going to be tightly fitted to the bore and cut it perfectly concentric to the bore. You'll see some guys use rigid reamers. I don't. The reason I don't use a rigid reamer because the set screw that holds them in on 90% of the rigid reamers cocks the uh, reamer sideways, and that gets an oblong chamber. All right, I got the oil pressure flush system drained out, blood out of the air. Got my RPM set. Let's start reaming. I ream at 145 RPM, and once I get up into here, I let the uh, carriage feed take over, cutting at one and a half thou per revolution. Find it gives me a beautiful finish inside, much more consistent than uh, doing it by hand. And headspace setting. We got an 8 thousandths feeler gauge, 8 thousandths fits. Then if we go to 9 thousandths, whatever I did with it, 9 thousandths does not fit. So we got a tight 9 that doesn't fit all the way around. So we're going to add 3 thousandths deeper, a thousandths for crush, and then 2 thousandths for fit, and we should be good to go. So how I do this is I zero out my digital readout to zero when I stop going in with my reamer. Then I also set a carriage stop right here. And between the two of them, I walk it in. We'll go in 12 and a half more thou, and we should be head spaced. So let's give it a go. There we are. All right, we're doing the chamber inspection. This is where the lead starts. You can see everything's cut identical. We go a little deeper into it. And watch the lands. Where that is. Went too deep. There they are. These are your lands, the raises in the barrel. And you can see all of them are cut the same length. So that bullet goes into the bore. It'll be going in perfectly. So we did our job on the chamber. Next thing we got to do is the muzzle. All right, we got the bore all dialed in over five inches if we go in and out. Next thing we're going to do is cut our thread tenon. Go all the way on with her. So now I'll clean up this shoulder here, cut the crown, cut the 45 or the 30 degree lead into the threads, and then we'll take it out and time the brake. All right, so the brake's on and installed, and he wants it blended so it disappears. So let's blend her and make her disappear. All right, we got the action all reassembled. Barrel cleaned up. This is the go gauge. It goes without any issues. Take this out. This is the no go. Goes in. Hard to stop. Life is grand. Now it's time to go laser.